the glump and the people. Written by Wendy Medder, illustrated by Rebecca Ashdown. The glump lived alone in a cave in a wood. He tried to come out, but he just never could. He wanted to dance with the peebles at night. He wanted to twirl in the glow of moonlight. But glumps are not made for such dancing and fun. In fact, what in the world has a glump ever done? So he sat all alone in a cave in a wood and tried to do nothing just like a glump should. But then a small peebles skipped into the wood she was singing and dancing just like peebles should. Then, not like a peebles, she sighed and she frowned. She stopped and she paused and she sat on the ground. I know that a peebles should dance every night. I know I should twirl in the glow of moonlight. But it makes me feel dizzy. I get hot and pink. Why can't I sit still like a glump and just think? The glump overheard from his cave in the wood. He tried to ignore her just like a glump should, but he couldn't. Then he tried to sound brave. If you like, you can come and sit still in my cave. The people looked round at a glumpish thing. Then blowing her nose on the tip of her wing, she said, I thought glumps were supposed to be shy. We are, but we don't like to see people's cry. So please do come in and I'll clear you a space to sit and just think in my quiet little place. She followed the glump and she closed her eyes tight. Then she breathed in the still and the quiet of the night. She thought about planets she wondered if Peebles could dance up on Mars. She sat without spinning, not hot and not pink. The very first Peebles to sit still and think. But when she had finished, the glump looked quite down. Dear glump, said the Peebles, what's making you frown? It's just that I wish I could dance in moonlight. I'd love to have fun like a Peebles at night. But my feet are too big and I've got glumpy toes. If I dance, I will trip and fall flat on my nose. Do you mean, said the people, don't like to sit, thinking thoughts on your own in the quietness of it? No, I don't, said the glump. I would rather be small and dainty and twirly, not glumpy at all. The people went quiet and she thought, a bit more. Then she said as she got up and walked to the door, come on, let me take you to twirl in the night. Oh no, said the glump, it just wouldn't feel right. Try not to be nervous, the people replied. You cannot be frightened of things you've not tried. All right, said the glump, I will have a quick spin, but please bring me home if I do not fit in. So they skipped through the woods to a wide open space where peebles were dancing all over the place. Just stretch out your arms wide and do what I do. It's no good, said the glump. I'm not people like you. Come on, said the people. We're in the moonlight. Just dance like a glump being people at night. So the glump stretched his arms. Then he twirled. Then they danced. Oh, I knew I'd be good if I just had the chance. The peebles all cheered to see such a sight. A glump, yes, a glump, twirling under moonlight. It's a glump, they all shouted. A glump, they all cried. He twirls like a peebles with arms stretched out wide. Oh, glump, said the peebles, I'm ever so proud. I never knew peebles could cheer quite this loud. And I, said the glump, I'm so glad you were brave and didn't mind coming to sit in my cave. You're the first ever people to sit still and think, said the first ever glum that has danced until pink. Can we come back again? Can we dance in the night? Yes, of course, beamed the people. 
You do it just right. As they wandered together back through the dark wood, the glump held the peebles hand like a glump should, and he skipped and he twirled as she looked at the stars and wondered if peebles were dancing on Mars. At last in their cave, the glump lay on the floor where he dreamt peebly dreams as he started to snore. Whilst the people curled up in her quiet little place and thought glumpy thoughts with a smile on her face. The end.